Good afternoon. Good afternoon. God bless you. God bless you. Or rather, good evening. Good evening. It's actually evening time. It's 6.30 here on the East Coast. Um, God bless each and every one of you. Thank you for joining with me. Just a few moments. I'm actually on my way to church. We have Bible study tonight and, and just ready to <laughs> teach the Word of God, you know, for what God would have me to say to His people. And so I just wanted to take a few moments just to um, send a quick message to each and every one of you that's watching and that had the opportunity to watch this evening. Um, and I want to talk to you about something that's very dear to my heart. And those of you know, uh, if you know anything about me, you know that there is nothing more important to me than the word, number one, and number two, prayer. Nothing more important than the word and no one more important than the word and than prayer. You know, but one of the things that I want to talk about is those of you, those of us who are teachers, preachers, those of us who are evangelists, missionaries, or maybe you just feel like you're a pew saint and you just want to serve the Lord with all your heart, right? Uh, I want to tell you that it's important for us to be very careful of the subtleties of the latent power of the soul. In other words, be very careful of the power of your soul. Now, we know that man is comprised of three components, flesh, spirit, and soul. There are three parts of us, flesh, spirit, and soul. The Word of God says when it comes to the flesh, it says, in my flesh dwells nothing good. The book of Galatians says that the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these. And, and these, the, the list of, or the litany of things that is listed in the Word of God in Galatians chapter 5 talks about all the wickedness that's in our flesh. And it doesn't matter how saved you are. It doesn't matter how uh, anointed you believe you may be. Your flesh is wicked. The Word of God even talks about that the heart of man is desperately wicked. Who can know it? And then the scripture tells us again, it says that a man plans his way, but the Lord orders his steps. And then it tells us again that every man's deeds are right in his own eyes. In his own eyes. So the things that we do, we justify <clears throat> the things that we do. Hey, Melinda, God bless you. Thank you for giving me a call, a shout out. I appreciate you. I'll call you as soon as I can. Um, but, um, you know, it, it is important to know that in my flesh dwells nothing good. Okay. So that's one component of me, right? One component of you that in your flesh, there is nothing that's good. Now let's talk about the other side in our spirits, our spirit. The Bible says the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Okay. So our spirits have a desire for God. Our, our spirits came from God. It longs for God. When David talks about as the deer pants for the waters, so my soul, he was really talking about his spirit. His spirit longs after him, after God, after God. You know, there's something in our spirits that is not satisfied until we are united and in right relationship and fellowship with God right? So our spirit wants to be with the Lord, okay? But then you have the other component. The other component is your soul, your soul. Your soul, mind you, you are flesh, spirit, and soul. It is so easy to interpose or, or to, to transpose very quickly um, what is spirit and what is soul. It's very, very deceptive. It's very deceptive. And a lot of what we see on display in some cases is nothing but soul. Um, it's the power of the soul. The power of the soul is, is what is seen when you go to, let's say in the world and you have someone who's a musician or a singer, and they play with such passion, 
right? They they sing with such passion and dynamics and 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 you know and and it moves you you know it moves the very uh a person that you are it 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 brings you to tears you know <laughs> it, it 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 stimulates your flesh right it causes your flesh to get excited you know you go to like a a rock concert right and you can't tell these young girls and young boys that their idol before them is not godlike you know because you know the 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 soul has the ability to manufacture things my god and i'm going to talk about this tonight i'm going to talk about this tonight in detail too bad some of you may not be able to be at the church but if you are able to come tonight to to four one vision i'm telling you you need to be there we start at seven o'clock you got 24 minutes right i'm here to tell you that it is important to know that the power of the soul can so easily be misconstrued with the power of the spirit the bible says walk in the spirit and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh however if you walk in your soul's power Okay, you may seem like you have anointing, you may seem like you have power, you might seem like you have demonstrated the greatness of God, but then right after that, you will fall apart. You will fall apart because the only thing that the only thing that that really takes authority over the devil, the only thing is when the spirit is in control when the spirit is in control and the spirit has his way it is the anointing of the spirit that destroys the yoke you know jay i'm gonna try i'm gonna try i'm gonna see if there's somebody who's able to do that the only challenge with that is that i left my um my wireless system home that that basically you could hear me clearly so so basically if we do it in the church if i have someone do, do it you're going to get a whole lot of ambient noise and so i will try to i will try to get you know this live stream tonight at seven o'clock i'll try to get it um i'll see if i can get somebody to 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 stand in front but but it's important to know and and just as a brief summary i want to give you guys that there's a distinction between what is spirit and what is soul there's a distinction and and a lot of people don't know the distinction a lot of people don't they're not aware of this distinction and 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 they find how is it that i can go from operating in some greater power right like like for example you could be at the church and i see this all the time right <laughs> i see folks you know they come down to the altar right and they they weep before the lord and they you know they say oh my god you know i feel the power of god and then no sooner than church is over somebody says something to them and they lose control or or <laughs> um, that person feels the anointing of God in what they do, whether they're performing in some sort of way. And then right after that, they go through a test. And where's the anointing to beat that test? I mean, come on, everybody. Think about it. You know, how can you be so anointed to, to speak power and authority and then fall apart with the simplest of things or the simplest of tests and not discern the power of the enemy. Mind you, the anointing is not just power that's resident within you, but the anointing is attached to the anointed one and thereby the Holy Spirit. So that means the anointing is the presence, the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. So how, <laughs> here's a question, how can I have the Holy Spirit operating within me and not discern the enemy? Come on, let's open our eyes. The, 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 the fact is, there are so many of us, so many of us who are merely operating in the power of the soul. Not the power of the spirit, the power of the soul.
And this is why we have so many weak and no disrespect, flaky believers, flip floppy, pancake. You know, one on Sunday, you, you are filled with the spirit and anointed and shouting and speaking in tongues and raising your hand. And then on Monday, somebody says one thing to you, and where's your anointing? Come on. Come on. So I'm going to break this down tonight. Hopefully I'll get through, if not all of it, most of it tonight. Um, and I'll try. Jay, I will try. And those of you watching, I will try to live stream at 7 o'clock. Um, I got... <laughs> 20 minutes to get to the church and uh, I was in a little traffic but now the traffic is flowing so hopefully I'll be there in the next 10 minutes or so get it set up and get there um, God bless you Lesha God bless you and am I pronouncing your name right please please help me um, I think it's Lesha or Lisha 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 I believe right let me know if I'm pronouncing your name right well, you can let me know. Is it Lee Sha? Let me know that. Um, but God bless you. Amen. So God bless each and every one of you watching. If you can tune in tonight at 7 p.m., please do so. Um, you know, um, if if I'm not able to do it, it's not Lesha. Is it Leisha? Uh, uh, Lesha. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm butchering your name, and I'm so sorry. Uh, you know, forgive me, charge it to my head, you know, because, you know, I'm going to need, okay, so it's Lesha. Okay, all right, I believe that's what you said. All right, so, um, yeah, so if if I am not able to, to live stream tonight at 7 p.m., if I'm not able to do that, then what I want you guys to do is that I will have the, um, we, we always record it audibly. And so I can get the audio version to you guys, um, if you desire it. And so let me see if I can get it first live stream. And then thereafter, if you want it, the audio version of it, just let me know. Um, yeah. So tune in at 7 PM tonight. Uh, Melinda, just tune in at 7 o'clock. Don't be trying to give me extra work. <laughs> you know, you ain't my boss. No. <laughs> so, yeah, so, yeah, tune in at 7 p.m. tonight. Hopefully, that's the next um, 17 minutes. <laughs> so, y'all keep me in your prayer, uh, in your prayers. Um, I desire to do great things for the Lord. And, and so, you know, God bless you. God bless you. All right. So tune in at 7 p.m. tonight and we'll take it from there. All right. Talk to you soon. God bless you.